me, Peter was Amadeus. I mean, it's just, he was like in another realm. Uh, joy working with him, fascinating character, interesting doorways into the infinite. One thing, not, not necessarily the, the only thing, is I would like people to grasp, especially say like, you know, in the world that you're talking about, Aikido, et cetera, is that everything we do, everything we perceive and everything we are is an invention. It's all inventions. It's all made up. None of it is fixed and none of it is real. You see, and, and when we start getting, no matter what it is, and when we start getting, it's all an invention that gives us a different relationship to it. And so then we can begin to create a different invention if that's appropriate. And at least not be stuck or wed in, you know, what we've created so far. And I think that no matter what we do, what it is, you know, whether it's your music or, uh, you know, doing, trying to master a technique or learning how to fight or even contemplating or looking into yourself, no matter what we do, uh, there's opportunities to, to learn. And we always run into challenges, no matter what it is. There's always challenges. You know, you ever notice that? <laughs> it's, like, it's like whenever, whenever you, you, you're doing anything, so even just try, you know, trying to le learn a technique, you know, or something, and there's always personal challenges that get in the way or, you know, and a learning curve, et cetera. And I think that the, the main thing to be learned from, from anything, from Aikido, is to learn about yourself. And if you're not learning about yourself, it's really kind of silly, <laughs> you know, to, to, I mean, it could be fun. Maybe you like that kind of thing, you know, throwing people around, breaking their wrist, you know, okay. But, you know, if you're not learning, it's, it, 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 that it doesn't really contribute to a beautiful world very much. Well, one thing, of course, I think we have to start with ourselves. Okay. It's like if we want to make a difference, we have to make a difference here first. Because if we can't do it, how can we invite anybody else? You know, I think people, they, they fail to see, I mean, just kind of immediately, they fail to see the relationship between what they think and feel internally, like their internal state, and the consequences for doing so. They think there are no consequences you know, for what we think, for what we do, for our state, etc. But there are. I don't mean just like out in the world. Just the very fact you're doing it, it means you're, that's what you're doing. That's what you're living. That's what you're being. And, you know, people kind of miss that. See? So like you were kind of saying or hinting at, look, you don't want to do that. Do something else. <laughs> See, you have to do something else. You know, otherwise, that's what you get. You know, kind of thing. And, and that can be a challenge. Because, you know, we're, we're programmed and, and we've, we've, we've uh, grown up learning how to be this way and this one and to survive as this one. And so to do something else, that, that takes a deliberate uh, effort, you know, deliberate uh, attention, you know, or something, an enlightenment or two, maybe, and getting a little free of some stuff. If you look at our own emotions and our own thinking and perspectives as, as also inventions, we say, oh, well, is this invention working well, you know, for me? Is this really what I want to live? Is this what I give my life to? Yeah. And a lot of times the answer is no. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I'm just waiting this out. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to give my life to this. Well, then stop giving your life to it. Yeah. And that can be, you know, easier said than done. Well, it's easier done than said, but, you know, <laughs> if you don't do it, it's really hard.